Hi everyone. So welcome to my second video on how to how to make an opalo type. And we're going to I'm going to show you here the process for putting the emulsion onto the glass plate. This process works for any flat surface glass plate positive whether it's clear glass an opalo type like this or other surface like a brick or an acrylic sheet whatever it happens to be. And so what I've got is I've got one of the uh, sheets that I put gelatin on uh, the other the other day in the previous video and you won't be able to see it here but if you hold it up to the light if you were here in the room with me you could see a rainbow pattern on it and ripples and that's an indication that the gelatin set and it's it's dried and it's ready to take the emulsion now so since I didn't want to ruin a bunch of emulsion I found a good analog for it the emulsions white so is this the emulsion's not cheap, but this is. And they have a very similar viscosity and flow, uh, flow characteristics. The difference being the emulsion is warm when you put it onto the glass. This is going to be room temperature. And what's going to happen with the emulsion is it's going to start to thicken up when it touches the glass. This won't do that so much because it's going same temp temperature to same temperature instead of warm temperature to cooler, relatively cooler temperature. So the first thing you'll need is some kind of cup that you can pour out of. Uh, this is a 50 milliliter cup. It actually it holds a little bit more than that. We're going to fill it up. But um, this amount, this cup will work just fine for this size. In fact, this cup will work just fine for the 6x6 Opalo types that I'm making. And what you would do is put your emulsion into the cup. And then I'm going to hold the glass here. And I'm going to pour the emulsion on. You could also, as I, I think I mentioned in the first video, use a brush for this. The problem is that a brush will leave brush strokes and substantial air bubbles, whereas this mes method won't. You can see that there are air bubbles in there, but they'll settle out uh, as the emulsion cures and sets. So now with that on there, I'm going to very carefully tilt this around and attempt to get complete coverage on the plate. I've actually never gotten perfect edge-to-edge -edge coverage doing this, so let's hope I can do it for this video, or as close as makes no difference. I think that's good enough for my purposes. I'm going to pour the excess back into the cup. Now remember, when you're using real emulsion, you'll want to make sure that the cup is stored someplace warm so that the, the emulsion in it doesn't revert back to its gelatin form. At least the emulsion I'm using reverts back to gelatin if it gets cool. I'm going to rotate this to try and get a better camera angle so you can see what's going on. And the emulsion's dripping down the side here and then there's a little bit on the edges and the corners that's not going to have coverage but that's okay. It's just going to give it a slightly more authentic look and really if these are in a frame it won't be a big deal because those corners will be covered by the frame or the matting anyway. So I'm going to scrape this off to try and get as much of the emulsion back as I can. And of course I'm calling this emulsion even though it's just Elmer's, well, uh, it's just standard white school glue. Um, but it's best to practice with your analog as though it were the actual thing. So there we go set it off to the side and it's going to take about 15 minutes to dry if it's real emulsion and you'll know it's dry because if you touch the corner of it it'll be tacky to the touch that or it'll be dry to the touch you don't want to print on it before it's at least tacky to the touch and there you go that's the process of pouring emulsion onto your glass plate surface for printing oh man what a mess I'm so glad this is a rental. Anyway, um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I'm more than happy to respond to those. I try to get, get to them uh, fairly often. If you have, uh, if you want to subscribe, by more, you can definitely do that, and you'll know whenever I have a new photography or non-photography related video that I release. Uh, if you have uh, any comments or if you have suggestions for videos, please leave those in the in the section below. And if I have the technical ability and the equipment, I'm more than happy to uh, make those videos for you. And uh, the last thing I want to say before I go, oh, two last things before I go. Next video, we're going to go into the actual dark room. I'm not sure how that's going to work yet. Uh, we're going to go into the dark room when I actually print the Opalo types. 
Uh, so stick around for that if you get a chance. Well, definitely stick around for that. Make the chance. It's going to be a great video, I say, having not filmed it yet. Last thing, thank you guys for watching.